Hello and welcome to the Popcorn Junkies. Um, last time we reacted to the teaser trailer of Back to Black. Nadia, you didn't pull your punches. I think it's fair to say you went for the jugular. You called it for what it was, you said what you saw, you, you did what you thought, and you just kind of went for it. So have you it's, revised your opinion at all? It's interesting. More or less everyone was saying a similar thing, which is that the documentary is still so with us. And maybe it's because we fell in love with Amy and discovered Amy through the documentary, in which I think... And it, it did such a brilliant job of showing us who she was and what a brilliant artist she was and how, you know, in spite of everything, she'd come out as this, like, absolute to Sorry, scream no shout, by the way, yeah. play fighting. Um, I think it did something more than that. For I me, I, I still have that so much in me. I'm not ready to see a biopic. Well, you see, I think, I think pretty much every single conceivable biopic, Whitney, Bohemian Rhapsody, Elvis, they can be done well and they can look great and they can be sort of theatre and all that kind of yeah. stuff. But if they're trying... A nice little story. Yeah, exactly. Or just another opportunity to kind of indulge in the songs. Because, of course, usually the, mm. the most biopics have the agreement of the estate. They can get access to the songs and we're all like, oh, yeah, it's all like kind of, you know, sing along and all that kind of bollocks. Um, but if, you know, the promise in a biopic is usually that you're going to get something of their life that you haven't had before. Yeah. And that rarely happens because most producers are negotiating with the estates and they yeah. have to get the music and then they say, well, only if you do it like this. I'd go so far as to say, I think Amy, the documentary, is the only kind of biopic there should be of anyone. Because what it did was it made, certainly made me, reevaluate her, fired her into the stratosphere, made us realise that she was more of an artist than a pop singer. Do you know what I mean? I think and, she... and more than somebody that was struggling with addiction yeah, exactly. because we, of all those awful photos and paparazzi yeah. films that we'd seen, yeah. we'd, we'd, made, we'd got an opinion of her. And, and I mean, I know her family were upset with the documentary, but I would say they should be because I think it, it, it made us fall in love with her. I'm going to say something really contentious. This, this could cause a lot of upset. I mean, to be honest with you, a lot of people underneath our teaser trailer response right. very much agreed with you and thereby kind of us, because I didn't disagree with you, which is the idea that perhaps it's too soon, and that actually the lead actress, um, Marissa Abella, didn't quite sort of land the kind of impact that I think we were all hoping for from her. she was so that. visceral, wasn't she? Because, she, was, she was ragged. And because that documentary was so good, who was, who was going to be able to finish oh, well, it? I don't think you can. You but can. you see, her, her story is so ragged, and I think this is the weird thing about telling these stories, is that when you tell the honest story warts and all, Ironically, because it's rock and pop music, you get an inf you, it kind of resurrects the star even more. I think trying to pretend they were this other thing mm. always does a disservice. I'm but not, also, the thing our daughter is a huge fan of hers. Yeah. It says she would hate that. She would hate to be candied up. And right. Amy and sweetened up. Oh, Amy would hate to be yeah, candid Amy up. Would have yeah, hated yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Well, the contentious thing I'm going to say is I think all of this, the whole enterprise and the whole project, is uh, sour grapes because the original film of Amy did a more than efficient job of rejuvenating Amy Winehouse, making her even more of the kind of cult well, status person. A, yeah. a huge star. Well, huge, yeah, well, not, I mean, obviously she was a star before that, but yeah, the but film did it. And I think, what, I think Amy Winehouse's estate are resentful of that. And I feel, and a lot of you guys have said this, that this is a cynical enterprise to extract a little bit more money out of her legacy. Mm. Quite harsh. But I wonder whether that, that, you know, I'm beginning to, anyway, let's see, this is the, this is the well, trailer. It could be that, or, be, or they just want a different story. They just yeah. want another story. A sort of her. PG story. Yeah. Okay, well, let's check it out. I want people to hear my voice. <laughs> and just forget their troubles for five minutes. <laughs> Do you know what girl power means to me? Sarah Vaughan, Lauren Hill. You need to know this. I ain't no Spice Girl. From primary school no, no, no. to sell out concerts. It's gonna happen one of these days. Boys like yours no, no, got to. No. Well, it's one of the best I've ever heard. That's my daughter. That's my Amy. And let's have mine tonight. Stay lucky, Amy. Got a knife for the bad boys. <laughs> The album's number one around the world. The highest charting album from a British female artist in the US ever. I don't think I was put on this earth just to sing. I want to be a wife. I want to be a mum. Probably run off with someone famous anyway. You're my heartbeat. You're my soul. I love you. 
I don't bang out ten hits by lunch. I need to live my songs. So that's what I'm going to go and do. Ready? I don't write songs to be famous. I write songs because I've got to make something do that something bad. I think that if you just have a, a kind of knowledge and of, of Amy Winehouse and you like biopics and you haven't seen the documentary, it's probably going to be, you know, a perfectly entertaining film. But I don't think her legacy demands no, but, a perfectly but entertaining film. for me, film. Who, who really does adore her and loved the documentary, and we've probably seen it three or four times, I just can't help my brain flipping to to those shots of what I know the real shots were like. My brain just kept, I kept saying, "Don't do that. Be fair. Just watch this for what it is." And I couldn't. I just kept going back. Well, look, don't get me wrong. Look, I mean, Leslie Manville absolutely love her. Eddie Marson, I yeah, absolutely love her. I, I, my problem with all of it is is exactly what I had a problem with the teaser. Is that too many of her moments where she delivers those lines. It's like an enormous moment is created for the line to land mm. and the whole shot and the framing. And I hate to say it, this isn't about how the end of her life became kind of raggy and, and, and scaggy and kind of druggy and all that kind of rock bottomy stuff that her life was. This is too pretty. It's too yeah, neat. That's what I mean. It's too perfect. It's pure biopic. Yeah, but it's it, pure but it's totally sanitized false. biopic. I mean, what was the other ones that we saw that we didn't like, and everyone was so cross with us? We didn't like. Yeah, but the next thing quite we're gonna... a few of the ones that were huge hits in the last couple of years. We just don't like that sort of sanitized, squeaky clean version of a person's lives. But lots of people do. They might do. That's but... why I wouldn't say, "Oh my God, this is going to be rubbish. Don't go and see it." I'm just saying it's not for me. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. But I, I'll yeah. tell you what I am saying. I, I don't find the director at all inspiring, or, or she doesn't inspire you. You know, because you know, you're, just... you're in capable hands. Yeah. It's just, it just feels. It's obvious. just got the. It's just got the. That's what I mean. It's got the painting by numbers, by numbers. feeling of a biopic, and, and which can... is a very certain kind of genre, isn't it? Yeah. The biopic. And I can see. And it does it exactly. I can see that this film is softening the West End for the musical, musical. that's going mm. to go into the same theatre that Tina Turner's in. I can uh, tell, tell you right, right okay. now. It's, the whole kind of, it's cupcake. It's cupcake movie making. And she's not a cupcake. Her music's no, not cupcake. It's insane. Like, I am sitting here thinking what Maddie Ardell said and thinking of Amy what, what, watching it and going, what a pile of shit. Yeah. I wouldn't have worn that. What's that? Oh, my God. What's my dad up to now? Go and watch Amy, the documentary. It's so brilliant.